I'm Ava and today we're taking a look at some Barbie doll Etsy shops. And then I'm gonna also randomly review the Zero Five Surprise Mini Brands Mini Fashion because I was gonna review these in my last Mini Brands video but they just didn't get here in time so might as well do that today. So I guess this video is gonna kinda just be all about fashion, hence the closet background. Oh, and for all of you guys desperately waiting for news on the next Emily and Friends episode, stick to the end of this video and I'm going to explain all of that and just how my channel is going to look like in the next little bit in general. So make sure to stick to the end if you want to know more about that. So the first Etsy shop that we're taking a look at today is called Maddie Boar and I've never purchased from their shop before. So I'm super excited to take a look at the items that I got. Here are the things that I ordered and they have a bunch of amazing stuff on their website, but these things just specifically stuck out to me. And the first thing I'm noticing are these little earrings over here, which I did not order. They added these as a little extra, which I really appreciate. So let's take a closer look. If you guys don't know, I have an obsession with gold, which maybe explains my gold Ava ring as well. But gold is definitely my favorite color when it comes to jewelry, so I'm absolutely loving these. Let's try putting them on a doll. This is my newest custom doll that I made. I'm still just so obsessed with her. If you guys haven't already, definitely check out that video. I'm just gonna push these right into your ears because they're already pierced. Okay, yeah, those are absolutely adorable. I can always use more doll earrings, and when they're gold, even better. As for what I actually ordered, I got these little boots. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Look how cute these things are. Let's try them on, Emily. And yes, I strategically put this jacket on Emily because look at the color match there. How perfect is that? I'm also aware it's springtime now and maybe not so much winter jacket and boot season, but then again, in Canada, there is still snow on the ground, so we're gonna let this slide. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how these actually look on the doll. They fit perfectly, which, I mean, I'd hope so. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to get it so you can see Emily's full outfit right now. But how perfect- first of all, just like, let's just admire the fact that I matched that jacket with those shoes. Like, I still can't get over that. Look how perfect of a match that is. This jacket is actually from another Etsy shop. It's called Dollsy Doll. Absolutely love that shop as well. But anyways, focusing on the shoes, these are so cute. I absolutely love the fur on them. And they're just extremely well made. Like, seriously, look how cute- <laughs> I don't know why I can't get over it. Just like the jacket and the shoes together. Like, wow. The shoes are also pretty big. So I have a feeling they would also fit the tall Barbie doll feet. Yep, there we go. These do indeed fit the tall Barbie doll feet. I feel like it'd pretty much fit any Barbie doll foot size. The other thing I ordered from Annie Boar is actually for the guys, which we already know they can always use more clothes. And I got this leather jacket. This is actually super nice. The whole detail on this jacket is absolutely incredible. Wow, that looks great. Okay, let's try this on Chase. Okay, I really like how this looks. It looks just like leather. Obviously, this is faux leather. And I really love the pattern they have on the sleeves going on as well. And it just fits perfectly. And we can always be using more clothes for the guys. I have nowhere near the same amount of Ken clothes as I do Barbie clothes, so this is great. But speaking of clothes for the Barbie dolls, let's see how it would look on a Barbie doll. Okay, that's definitely really cute too. Obviously, a bit big, but it could just look like she's wearing her boyfriend's jacket and i absolutely love this see all my ken doll clothes end up going to the barbie dolls anyways so this is why it's a problem the next etsy shop that we're taking a look at is called sky dream dolls and i've also never ordered from this shop before here is their business card and let's see what we got first thing i'm noticing are these two shirts which i did not order so they added these as a little extra so thank you so much for that here is the white top and just like a nice fitting shirt and here's the other shirt. It says Barbie Rockers and again, just a nice fitting, nice looking shirt. As for what I actually ordered, I got this adorable little pink top. It's in my favorite kind of like dusty pink color. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Yeah, this is cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish I had a top like this for myself. This is adorable. Of course, I'm loving the gold and it's looking great with her earring she's wearing right now too. Definitely my favorite thing we've taken a look at so far, I think. Oh my gosh, I wish I had this for myself. <laughs> and the last thing I got from Sky Dream Dolls is for the guys. Because once again, we can always use more Ken doll clothes. And these are like some nice black cargo pants. Okay, these are really nice. They fit perfectly on Chase here. And the detail is amazing. All of the pockets work, even the ones on the side here. And there's back pockets as well. Really, really happy with this purchase. 
Okay, and you already know I had to try it out on the Barbie dolls, and look at this. Why does this actually look really good? Like, I've been really into the whole low-rise kind of look, and these look really fun. They're definitely pretty long on the doll, but I almost don't mind the bunched-up look on the bottom. I actually love these. Again, just more Ken doll clothes stolen from the Barbie dolls, but what can I say? This looks amazing. Especially with this top, too. Like, I'm just liking this whole look as an outfit. The last Etsy shop that we're taking a look at is called House of Izzy. I've also never ordered from their shop either. And this one is a bit of a smaller shop and I do really like supporting the smaller Etsy shops as well. So definitely check this one out because they have some adorable clothes. You're about to see. I think I might be most excited about this shop. Here's their little business card. And here are the clothes. And just like the other stores, they also included an extra thing, this dress here, which looks absolutely adorable, along with everything else. So let's start taking a look at these things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. <laughs> this is adorable. I'm literally in love with this. It's a little like, what even is this? I don't even know, little vest and skirt combo outfit. There's these little buttons on the front of the vest and these slits in the skirt. And it's just extremely well-made and great quality. Okay, okay, let's let's try on the next thing here because I'm way too hyped now. In here, I ordered this little satin lilac dress. Once again, absolutely gorgeous. And I absolutely just love the color of this dress in general. And yeah, if we just take a closer look, you can really see all the really nice stitching. And it's just, once again, such amazing quality. This one here is the last thing that I actually ordered. And it's this adorable little top and shorts set. Oh my goodness. The only thing I am noticing about it though is that for whatever reason, there's some red and blue markings. I think they were probably tracing out the pattern and they might've accidentally gotten some of the pencil on the fabric. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but luckily it's not too noticeable. And let's just see what it looks like on the doll. Oh my gosh, it has pockets, which automatically makes up for the marks on the shorts. I'm not gonna let that bother me too much because everything else is just so perfect about this, especially this top. I'm absolutely loving the detail on the top. Like this is like easily one of my favorite doll tops ever, I'd say. And the final thing from the shop is the extra dress that they included. It's this beautiful green color and it has these little cherries all over. Once again, absolutely gorgeous. Like all of these outfits, I just want for myself. Can I get these in human size, please? The pattern on this dress is absolutely beautiful. I love the slit in the front here and I love how the top here is ruffled like this and then kind of cinched in like a corset. I am in love with this shop. Definitely gonna have to be ordering from them again and definitely check them out along with all the other Etsy shops in the description box below. And now sticking with the theme of fashion, we're gonna take a look at these Zuru 5 Surprise mini fashion balls. I was supposed to review this in my last mini brands video, but they just didn't get here in time. So we're gonna do this now. Okay, let's open this up. These things are always so much fun to unbox, even if the packaging is always the most difficult thing ever. <laughs> like, I don't know why. They need to figure out a better packaging system because this tear part never actually tears properly. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> Okay, here's the collector's guide, and I'm pretty sure this one is just a series one. So I'm gonna be happy with pretty much anything I get, except I don't want any duplicates. I already do have these two purses here, and then hopefully I just don't get any duplicate accessories as well. Let's see. Okay. Okay, it is looking really good here. We've got this lip gloss, which is adorable. The thing I've noticed about the lip glosses and lipsticks though, is they're always pretty big and definitely wouldn't be realistic for Barbie dolls, unfortunately. We also have this little, oh my gosh, that's cute. We also have this little blush and that is really adorable. I like the little mirror on that. And this little lotion, something or another. Either way, it is really cute and definitely good size for the dolls. And then there's always just this random like sticker <laughs> that serves absolutely no purpose, but I think they do count it as one of the surprises. And now for the exciting part, the purse. I'm really, really hoping we don't get a duplicate here. I'm afraid though, it's, oh my gosh, it feels like it could be a duplicate. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's really cute. We have this green purse here and I'm always blown away by the amount of detail on these. Like just look at all the stitching on that and even like the little buckles and stuff on the front. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, and now let's take a look at this one. Alrighty, let's take a look at the accessories first. 
oh okay so again the random sticker which i still don't understand what i'm supposed to do with this but then we got one of the dogs and this one's really cute i mean obviously not gonna be for the dolls but maybe like a little toy or something i don't know but either way it is really cute i can admire and acknowledge that unfortunately i do already have these sunglasses but i really like them so i'm not even that upset about having another pair because they do fit the dolls really well and then lastly this little like makeup brush and i really like the actual bristles on this okay and now for the purse i really would like a pink purse so hopefully we'll see if that's inside here <gasps> oh my goodness this is actually the purse that we got as the sticker this is so pretty actually oh my goodness okay okay i am actually really really happy with this one there's a little magnet on the front here it might be a bit on the big side for the dolls but it could just kind of be a bit of a, a bigger purse i guess and either way it is just super pretty and lots of detail on there as well here's the green purse on emily it's a little bit big but i actually think she can still pull it off as just like a bigger sized purse and i'm really liking it with this dress too the greens are kind of going together nicely so yeah although it's a little bit on the large side i think it can definitely work as just a larger purse this other purse definitely does look pretty big as well maybe it can also be pulled off as just a larger purse this one maybe looks a little bit more out of the ordinary a little off but i think it can still work if we just kind of pretend it's a much bigger purse than it's probably supposed to be seen as I really hope you enjoyed watching me review three new Etsy shops, which will all be linked in the description box below. Check them out. They're all so amazing. And I also hope you enjoyed me unboxing the mini fashion mini brands. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm now going to kind of explain how my channel is going to look like in the next couple weeks here and explain what's going on with Emily and Friends and why it's taking forever. And for those of you who get annoyed when I move my hands around so much, you might want to leave because there's going to be a lot of hand moving in the next like minute or so. <laughs> but basically the last year has been like the busiest year of my entire life, school and life and everything. And Emily and Friends episodes take a long time to make. So it's taken me some time to get around to it. I also did have to make the store that I made in my last video in order to make the Emily and Friends episode. But now I'm also going away on a Europe trip for two weeks. So there will be no videos posted in the next two weeks, unfortunately, which I really hope you guys understand. But this break is going to be so nice for me. I really do need it. But once I am back, I'm going to get back into the groove of things, hopefully get back to my weekly schedule and get out the next Emily and Friends episode as soon as possible. So that's kind of my explanation. I'm not trying to torture you guys with taking forever to post this episode, but it's just kind of happening because of just not being able to get around to it. I do appreciate all the support that's been going on on my channel and all of you guys sticking with me, even though I've been pretty bad at posting weekly and just not getting videos out as often as I'd want to be. Either way, I hope you guys still are enjoying the content that I'm putting out and I appreciate you guys so, so much. And with that being said, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad. I'd appreciate it so, so much and I'd love to have you part of this community. Love you so, so much and I'll see all of you in a couple weeks. Bye.